Now, through the course of the pandemic, we've had several firsts. Our lifestyle has changed, our dependence on digital gadgets has increased as well. And it's not just for adults who are working from home, it's also for kids who are studying at home, playing at home, training for new things at home, even partying on Zoom calls at home. What does this eventually lead to? It leads to a lot of strain on your eyes. And through the course of the past couple of months, we've constantly have had FII viewers write to us and say, well, digital eye strain, how can we fix it? So we thought, let's, well, bring you a program to do just that. And we discovered in our research that there's something called a computer vision syndrome. What exactly is this? How to fix it? We'll take you through in our explainer. So take it note very carefully. All right, so what exactly is computer vision syndrome? Where it is essentially caused by prolonged use of digital screens. You could be looking at your television, your phone, your iPad or any other gadget, for example. It is also known as digital eye strain as well or a computer eye strain as often doctors refer to it. The symptoms are quite simple. You have eye fatigue, you have dry eyes. It eventually later on gives you headache as well. It can develop a computer vision syndrome if you view digital screen for more than two hours at a stretch. Now, I'm sure all of you are wondering, well, we all sit in front of our computers for a limited, at least minimum of eight to 10 hours. So definitely all of us have it. Well, there is a trick to it. So listen in. Other risk factors also for digital eye strain include stuff like looking at digital screen every day. Poor lighting in a room can cause this a glare or reflection on the digital screen. For example, if you're sitting with a tube light behind you or a source of light behind you, natural light as well, and it's constantly reflecting on your screen, that is a problem. Uncorrected vision issues, that is a problem. I certainly face that. Incorrect pres uh, prescription eyeglasses also need to be watched out for. Incorrect viewing distance, and this is very important, and the angle as well of your posture against the screen is very, very important. How to fix it, we'll tell you. But first, we try to look at who does it impact the most. And the studies that we saw were very troubling. According to the survey of India Journal in the ophthalmology January 2021, so this is very, very recent, they talked about how the digital eye strain is impacting children. Duration of digital device has gone up versus the pre-coded era and look at the numbers over there. It's gone up almost three folds over there, which is worrying. There is 6.9% use of digital devices, which is over five hours in the COVID era compared to what it was earlier, just 1.8%. Most common use device, according to the study that we did, was of course smartphones. And it's not all for bad purposes. It's not just gaming. It's actually studying there as well. It is meeting and greeting with family members as well who are sitting far away and you don't meet them so often now. Attending online classes, well, that's gone up and contributing to the maximum of these numbers going up. And the most common symptoms in kids, if you're a parent that you should be watching out for, and this is important, is itching, is headache, is double vision, seeing halo, around objects as well. A child often might not be able to tell you, might just say that he's not feeling well. So you have to watch out for these symptoms. Watch if, he, if the child is rubbing their eyes too much, etc. And then get the eyes tested and of course see a doctor who will tell you more on this. Now prevalence of this of course has been seen in kids. It has been seen in uh, adults as well, but children continue to be most impacted. Several studies that we are showing you right now on your screen right now to tell you on how severe really this problem has become. But if you're wondering what to do then, there is no getting out of this, right? Well, we have some quick fixes for you. Something that can be easily adapted in your day-to-day -day life as well and something that you literally need no device for. Watch this. Hi there and welcome to my working station. By now all of you know that I have a standing desk that gives me a good posture and improves my productivity as well. But what till date and especially during the pandemic has taken a toll on me and I'm sure on all of you as well is the strain that you feel on your eyes. I mean look at the screens. 
I have the computer, I have the TV, if not, I'm on my phone. So my eyes are constantly overworked and they feel the strain. So five quick exercises that you can do anytime, anywhere really, to give a bit of a breather to your eyes. The beauty of these exercises really is that all you need is clean hands. So let's get started with exercise number one. I'll just have to take off my specs for that. Clean arms and clean palms and look at this area right under your thumb. Place it here on top of your brows and just circulate. Small easy motions clockwise then anti-clockwise. You see a lot of babies do this very involuntary in when they wake up to try and relax themselves as well. Number two, take the middle finger and press underneath your brows. And this one instantly gives you a feeling. Once done with this, come near your eye. Don't go inside at no point are you pressing your eyes directly. But near your, uh, your tear duct, just press very lightly, pulsate. Then number four, and this is my favorite, just do this. Just around your eye socket. You never go close to the eye. You never go directly on the eye either. Eyes are going to love you for this. And then number five, and by now all of us know this, create some heat in your palms and just rest on your eyes. Cup it up nicely. You're likely to see some flashes in the beginning and then eventually as it goes dark and black, I'm already feeling better. Try it out and let me know how it went for you. Well, while you were watching that, I actually tried it one more time. It's really that easy to do. But the important thing to remember here is another very quick fix formula, which is a 20-20-20 formula. And this is a rule that has been followed by several experts as well and advised. It's very simple. Every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break. And in that break, do not watch any digital screen but just take your vision 20 feet away. Watch something that is not throwing light at you, but is just lying out there. Just try this out for a couple of days and you will see a very significant change in how you're feeling with your eyes as well.